My name is Erin Jeffries and I'm doing 3-2D. An octopus named Bixby is having trouble hiding from predators due to his color-changing cells under his skin called chromatophores being turned off. He is just a wee baby octopi and is having to come up with crazy inventions to escape from predators. He has decided he wants to try and turn the color-changing cells back on but isn't sure how. He goes to see the doctors of the ocean, the manta rays, at the Coral Reef Hospital. Dr. Ray tells Bixby about his different options to fix his problem. He could either use RNAi or CRISPR to target the genes in his DNA that is turning off his color-changing cells. He tries to explain the differences between them, but Bixby has an understanding, so he decides to use pictures. Dr. Ray says that RNA interference, or RNAi, is the easiest method. It can reduce the expression of the bad gene, allowing some of Bixby's color-changing cell function to recur. Turn. Or, he can use clustered, regularly interspaced palindrome repeats, or CRISPR, which is a bit more difficult, but it completely eliminates the bad genes, and you get full color changing back. Bixby wants to understand the process of both procedures before making his final decision, so Dr. Ray goes into more depth. First, he explains RNAi. He says, first we find the double-stranded RNA that we want to target. Then we take short RNA, such as siRNA or miRNA, and create complementary strands to the target sequence. The complementary strand is put into an RNA-induced silencing complex, or RISC, which guides it to the target RNA and is cleaved by the enzyme DICER. If we use siRNA, then that will degrade the mRNA used for transcription. But if we use miRNA, the binding may be imperfect, which causes translation to be inhibited, and there is a chance of it potentially also repressing different genes because the binding doesn't have to be exact. On the other hand, we could use CRISPR, which is when the guide RNA connects to Cas9 to guide it to the target sequence. For Cas9 to bond, it has to recognize the short sequence called PAM that is next to the target sequence. Cas9 then creates a double-stranded break. The NHEG repair process then tries to fix it, which creates insertion or deletion mutations. Next, selection is done to isolate the frame shift mutation that will cause the bad protein to no longer be expressed. He assures Bixby that lucky th luckily there is a PAM sequence next to his bad gene, which is why this method is viable. Bixby thinks it over and decides that he wants to use CRISPR because he wants to have full function of his color changing cells and doesn't want to run the risk of it turning up other genes in his body. Although it is more difficult to complete, he thinks it will be worth it in the long run. 